Natalie Sidesurf here of Sidesurf Cake Studio. And I'm gonna show you how I made a pig cake. <laughs> there are two reasons why I wanted to make this cake. The first is, this is actually one of my favorite cake designs ever. I don't know if you can tell, but... The second reason is I wanted to celebrate one of my favorite summertime toys, my Traeger grill. It's amazing. I'll explain more as I start working on the cake, but if you haven't subscribed to this channel, now is the time. We put out new cake videos every Monday, and if you really like our channel, you can become a patron at patreon.com slash sidesurfcakes. Speaking of patrons, shout out to Liz Sanchez. Thank you so much for joining. So let's get started. Let's start this cake off with a cake board that is held up with four poles that will eventually be the pig's legs. Here I have some modeling chocolate that is colored with ivory gel food color and a tiny amount of red food color. The first thing to do is fill in the bottom of the cake board with modeling chocolate, and I'm gonna shape that modeling chocolate like the pig's belly. I do this before adding the layers of cake because it allows me to press that chocolate securely onto the bottom of the board while I use my other hand to press firmly on the top of the cake board. I don't want this pig's belly to fall or droop. I smash the modeling chocolate the same way that you smashed the like button on this video. <laughs> I really appreciate your likes because it really helps us reach more people. You have so much power with just one click. Next, I add the layers of cake. So these cake layers are chilled, so that way when I carve the cake, the cake's not gonna crumble too much. So you get a much cleaner cut when the cake is cold. So I cut around the sides of the cake along the cake board first, and then I carve the top shape of the pig's bum and his back. I was actually laughing pretty hard while making this cake because I realized that pigs have like this funny jelly bean like shape. <laughs> They're almost necklace. <laughs> necklace. Necklace as in they don't really have a neck. <laughs> I think that's probably why I find them so adorable. Once the basic shape of the cake is carved, I add a thin layer of buttercream over the entire cake. This is called a crumb coat, and I absolutely love that lime green buttercream that we use. <laughs> then I take a smoother, it's bendable, and I just make sure that everything is nice and smooth before I add my layer of modeling chocolate. So I cover the entire cake in this thin layer of modeling chocolate, and then I trim away any of the extra chocolate along the sides and I take a sculpting tool and I blend everything in. I want this cake to look like it's one solid shape. So you gotta do a lot of blending. But this is modeling chocolate. Modeling chocolate blends really easily, so that's good. I'm really trying to hide that cake board as best I can. I recommend wearing gloves and actually using your hands to smooth the modeling chocolate out. I wear gloves because, you know, it's more sanitary, but also because it makes a nice smooth surface. Now that the basic proportions of the pig are mapped out, I'm going to sculpt and bulk up all the fun details and shapes. So this pig is made to look like a Yorkshire pig. This breed of pig is like extremely common. It's likely one of the most widely distributed breeds of pig in the world. I noticed that some of these pigs have longer snouts and then some of them have shorter kind of smushed snouts. So I went for the short snout because I love a squishy face. It's so cute that it almost makes me mad. <laughs> to bulk up some areas, all I do is add a little bit of softened modeling chocolate. Yorkshire pigs have big old ears. After I finished sculpting this pig's face, I couldn't help but notice that it looks a lot like a bat. 
Do you guys see the resemblance? Let me know in the comments because I might just be going crazy. I don't know. Looks like a bat. Now these legs are far too skinny for that big body. So I'm bulking those up with some modeling chocolate too. I like to sculpt the body first and then get the proportions of the legs based on the body because I know that the body is gonna be harder to actually sculpt. He's got a cute little modeling chocolate tail with a little curl. <laughs> Pretty simple. Now it's time to paint. So I painted the pig's eyes black and I'm going to draw a pork chart on the side of the pig. Only I'm replacing the cuts of pork with the word cake because I think that's hilarious. I actually made this same cake design for the first time back in 2015 when I was asked to headline a food show. Only that cake was five feet long. It was massive. I'm pretty sure it was the largest cake I've ever made. And I love this cake design so much that I decided to have shirts made of it. You can get your own right now at our merch store at sidesurfcakes.com. So I have these really fun Traeger stickers and you can see that there's actually a pig on one of the stickers, which is perfect. Uh, so I'm going to use this sticker right here as my reference. It's their logo. And I'm going to paint this on the other side of the pig. I really wanted to revisit this cake design, not only because I love it so much, but because it's summer and I really wanted to celebrate one of my favorite things that I own, my Traeger grill. <laughs> I live in Texas and smoking meats is very common in these parts. So I'm painting the Traeger logo on the side of this pig. And I'm gonna put a link in the description so that you guys can go check out their grills because they are amazing. They do exactly what you want them to do. Highly recommended. I always want to triple check my spelling when I paint logos because <laughs> I don't exactly write the word Traeger every day. It kind of reminds me of my name, Sidesurf, because Sidesurf is spelled with an E, not a U, and everybody wants to spell it with a U, which totally makes sense, but it's spelled with an E. So to paint this face, I kept it nice and simple. I added a few shadows, a few highlights, but nothing too dramatic, easy peasy. And the last thing that I did was I melted some chocolate and I'm taking a spatula and I am just spreading that chocolate onto the cake board so that it looks like mud. Why would I just have a solid color cake board when I have the perfect opportunity to use chocolate? I'm so happy that chocolate looks like mud. I actually use this technique on a lot of cakes. Monster truck cakes, other cakes. <laughs> I swear I've used it a bunch. I just can't think of one right now. And there you have it, a pig cake. Now, let's cut it. We're gonna start with the Traeger side first. Get a piece of bum. What was that, the ham? Let's get some ham. <laughs> and now, on to the side with the pork chart. I get to pick my cut of meat. We're gonna have some loin. Not his face. I slapped him. Sorry, bud. Oh! Look at this. This, this pig's heavy. Daddy. Twins. I'm the only one eating it, so. Mmm.